Welcome to a new episode of the podcast. Vox Agent is made by AI for business executives that work with AI. Today, we're diving deep into something uh, really foundational for enterprise AI, Amazon Bedrock Aging Core. We've got a pretty comprehensive research report here, and our mission for you really is to cut through the noise, pull out those surprising facts, and get you well informed on how this platform, well, how it's poised to revolutionize AI deployment in your organization. Okay, so let's unpack this. For years, AI, you know, it's been fantastic at insights, predictions. Think about it. It tells you what might happen, maybe answers your questions. But what if AI could not just tell you something, but actually uh, do something about it? You know, take action. Imagine your marketing team spending weeks, maybe months, developing campaigns, or uh, your customer service folks bogged down by those routine queries. That's really the challenge Aging Core seems to be tackling. Yeah, exactly. And what's fascinating here, I think, is we're talking about the dawn of, well, autonomous AI agents. These are pretty sophisticated software systems, right? They leverage AI models to uh, reason, plan, and then actually take concrete actions in complex business environments. Swami Sivasubramanian, he's the AWS vice president, he actually described this as a tectonic change in software. It's fundamentally altering how we build and interact with software altogether. It's a big claim. Agent Core, in this context, it directly addresses a really critical gap. It moves AI from those, you know, intriguing experimental prototypes that, let's be honest, often just stay as proofs of concept. Right, the poor piece. Exactly, into robust production-ready systems that enterprises can actually use. It's the difference between a cool idea on a slide and actually putting it to work reliably. So we're talking AI that acts, but okay, how does Agent Core actually enable that? What is it? Fundamentally, yeah. it was introduced, what, 2025? It's a mm -hmm. fully managed agent infrastructure. And the promise is it takes away all that um, heavy lifting, right? Building custom tooling for AI agents from the ground up. Right. If we connect this to the bigger picture, Agent Core provides this powerful suite of uh, seven core services. Think of them as modular building blocks. But what's really significant, I think, is how they simplify bringing these agents to life in a secure, enterprise-ready way. Let's maybe zoom in on, say, three that really redefine what's possible for your business. First, there's the Agent Core runtime. Now, this is the secure serverless execution environment where the agent's actual reasoning processes live. What's truly groundbreaking here, and this is pretty impressive, is its ability to support asynchronous agent sessions of up to eight hours. Eight hours, that's a lot. It really is. Currently the longest in the industry for these continuous complex workflows. So imagine an agent managing like a full customer onboarding process start to finish, or maybe orchestrating a multi-stage marketing campaign over several hours, all with complete session isolation, which is key, preventing any data leakage between sessions. Mm. This isn't just a tech spec you see, it's about unlocking entirely new long-running automations that just weren't feasible before. Then there's agent core identity, and this is uh, a novel and I'd say vital component. It basically equips agents with credentials so they can act securely on behalf of users or you know the organization itself, and it integrates seamlessly with existing enterprise identity providers. Things like Amazon Cognito, Okta, Microsoft Enter ID, the ones companies already use. Ah, so it plugs into existing systems. Precisely. This isn't just convenience. It means Agent Core plugs directly into your company's established security framework. You leverage your current investments. For an executive, this solves a huge trust gap. How do you know an AI agent acting on sensitive customer data or executing financial transactions is authorized and auditable? Right, the audit trail. Agent Core Identity provides that, that ironclad audit trail, which is absolutely paramount for governance and compliance. You need to know who did what. And third, let's talk Agent Core Gateway. Think of this as a kind of universal translator. It converts your existing APIs, your databases, custom mm -hmm. functions, basically, all your company's digital plumbing into agent-compatible tools. Mm -hmm. It uses this emerging standard, the Model Context Protocol, or MCP, and that dramatically simplifies connecting agents to complex enterprise systems, your CRM, ERP, various SaaS platforms. Okay, so no more building custom connectors for everything. Exactly. No more endless custom integration code for every single use case. It's like giving your AI agents a universal adapter for your entire tech stack. Much, much simpler. So if I'm a developer or maybe leading a tech team, this means I can now really focus on the logic, 
right? Yeah. And the goals of my AI agents, what I actually want them to achieve, rather than constantly getting bogged down, worrying about building, managing, securing all that underlying infrastructure, that feels like a huge strategic shift. It is. It feels like the yeah the heavy lifting of operationalizing these agents just got significantly lighter. That's the idea. Focus on the value, not just the plumbing. Okay. Capabilities are one thing, but the real proof is in the pudding, isn't it? What about some real-world transformations? Things already taking shape. Agent Core is still in preview, technically, but it's already being piloted by some pretty major players. What are you seeing out there? Absolutely. The data really does speak for itself here. We're seeing concrete examples across uh, really diverse industries demonstrating real-world impact. For instance, take Epsilon. They're a global marketing company. They're piloting Agent Core-driven content automation, and they expect to cut their campaign development times by up to 30%. 30%, that's significant. Yeah, it is. That's a measurable leap in productivity for a large organization, directly impacting their speed to market. Big deal for them. Then you look at healthcare. Innovaxer, a data platform firm, they built a new healthcare model context protocol, HMCP they call it, right on Agent Core's gateway service. Their CEO actually called Agent Core's tool integrations a game changer, specifically for securely connecting AI to sensitive patient data and those complex workflows, all while meeting very strict privacy and safety requirements, you know, like Apote. Which is critical in healthcare. Absolutely critical. It's a testament to how Agent Core enables that secure, compliant access, even in these highly regulated fields. And there's Itaioni Banco, Brazil's largest bank. They're leveraging Agent Core to develop these hyper-personalized, secure digital banking experiences. Again, heavily regulated sector. And they've already seen a reduction in calls to their contact center for routine queries by about 20%. Wow, 20% fewer calls just for routine stuff. Yeah, that's a massive efficiency gain. And it simultaneously improves the customer experience, right? Because human agents are freed up for more complex interactions. Makes sense. And one more quick one in the cloud content space, Box. They're exploring Agent Core to enhance their content management platform. Their CTO highlighted Agent Core's top tier security and compliance for scaling AI capabilities. That's key for them. And in early testing with their AI assistant, users found relevant documents about 50% faster. 50% faster. That's a direct hit on employee productivity right there. Immediate impact. These are definitely compelling results. For an executive listening, though, it's easy to get excited by that potential. Maybe overlook the implementation complexities. What's maybe one common mistake these early adopters might have made that, you know, future users should actively try to avoid? That's a great question. I think one common misstep is probably underestimating the importance of integrating these agents really deeply into existing workflows rather than just treating them like standalone apps off to the side. Ah, okay. Not just bolting it on. Exactly. The companies seeing the most success from what we see are those that meticulously map out where and how an agent can truly augment a process, ensuring seamless handoff, data flow. It's about enhancing the existing flow, not just adding another separate tool. Integration is key. That makes sense. This also raises the question of competition, doesn't it? How does Agent Core stack up? I mean, the emergence of enterprise AI agents is creating a really competitive market segment. You've got significant initiatives from uh, OpenAI with their agents' SDK plans. Google has Gemini-based agents. Microsoft has co-pilots everywhere. So for you, the executive may be grappling with your AI investment strategy. What makes Agent Core truly stand out in this, frankly, crowded field? Yeah, it's definitely getting crowded. I think Agent Core's key differentiator, the real standout feature, is its framework and model agnosticism. This is huge. It means you can use essentially any popular open source agent framework, think Langchain, Llama Index, whatever emerges next. And critically, you can use any foundation model. That includes Amazon's own Python model, sure, but also third-party models like OpenAI's GPC-4, Anthropic's Claude. Just integrate them via API. It's flexibility, not locked in. Exactly. For an executive hearing this, that means you're not forced to rip out existing investments. You don't have to bet your entire AI strategy on one single vendor's ecosystem. It's about agility. It's about mitigating risk, which are you know, top-of-mind concerns in today's fast-moving tech landscape. While competitors might focus on, say, their own powerful models or very specific product integrations, Agent Core provides the robust infrastructure, the underlying plumbing to operationalize AI agents reliably at true enterprise scale. It gives you that flexibility rather than locking you in. Right. But that framework agnosticism, while it's a clear strength, some might argue that a tightly integrated, maybe end-to-end -end ecosystem from a single provider offers a simpler, maybe out-of-the-box experience. What would you say to a company that's 
prioritizing that kind of plug and play simplicity over, say, deep customization? Is there a trade off? That's a valid point, yeah. Especially maybe for smaller projects or initial pilots, an integrated system can seem simpler up front. However, for enterprise scale deployments, the ability to customize and integrate with your unique, often complex existing systems usually outweighs that initial out of the box simplicity in the long run. That flexibility Agent Core offers means you can tailor the AI agent precisely to your complex business processes, your data sources, mm -hmm. rather than trying to adapt your business to fit a vendor's predefined, maybe more rigid solution. I see. Agent Core's approach, I think, offers that long term strategic advantage for larger, more complex organizations. Looking ahead then, it seems like AI agents are set to evolve incredibly fast. We're hearing about things like multi-agent systems, right? Where yeah. specialized agents collaborate. Yes, complex problem solving. And tighter integration with IoT and edge devices. For real-time decisions, maybe in manufacturing or logistics. Critical for industrial settings, absolutely. Right. Real-time is key there. And then there's the growing emphasis on AI governance and open standards like that model context protocol, the MCP, that Agent Core embraces. Yeah, standards are becoming essential. So Agent Core's flexible, open approach seems pretty well aligned with these future trends, doesn't it? Paving the way for more intelligent, interconnected systems down the line. I agree. It seems built with that future extensibility in mind. OK, but no technology is a silver bullet. It's not without its challenges. Yeah. So for an organization seriously considering this, what are some of the uh, the hurdles they might face when deploying AI agents, and mm -hmm. crucially, how can they navigate them successfully? Right. It's important to be realistic. While Agent Core is powerful, enterprises absolutely must recognize certain limitations and prepare for them. First off, model limitations themselves. The underlying AI models, whichever you choose, can still hallucinate. They can provide inconsistent reasoning sometimes. It's a hallucination problem. Exactly. It necessitates really thorough testing and, frankly, human oversight, especially in high-stakes applications. You can't just, you know, set it and forget it. Not yet, anyway. Then there are definite security concerns. New attack vectors are emerging, things like prompt injection, data poisoning. These demand constant vigilance. Now, Agent Core's features like sandboxing and session isolation, they certainly mitigate many risks. But careful configuration, robust data loss prevention strategies, they're absolutely crucial. You also need to ensure, you know, communications between the agent core services are secure, credentials are handled properly. Security has to be baked in. Mm -hmm. Compliance, too, I imagine. Huge area. Regulatory and legal issues. Navigating complex regulations, IPA and healthcare, GDPR, the upcoming EU AI Act, and managing legal liability if an AI agent makes a mistake. This requires involving your compliance and legal teams right from the very beginning. It's not just a tech problem. It's a legal and operational one. Cannot stress that enough. Good point. And perhaps one of the biggest challenges often underestimated is change management, purely the human side. Introducing AI agents, well, it can cause anxiety among employees. People might fear job displacement or just a radical shift in how they work. Understandable fear. It is. To overcome this, it's vital to frame AI as an assistant right? An augmentor of human capability, not a replacement. Providing comprehensive training involving employees in the design process itself, that's absolutely vital for securing their buy-in and ensuring successful adoption. You have to bring your people along on the journey. So wrapping that up for you, the listener, the learner, looking to implement this in your own organization, what are the absolute best practices to really ensure success and deliver tangible ROI? Yeah. What does success look like? It truly comes down to, I think, strategic integration and continuous refinement. First, align with clear business objectives. Simple, but critical. Don't deploy AI just for the sake of AI. Every Agent Core initiative needs to tie directly to clear, measurable business outcomes, like Epsilon's goal, right? Cut campaign development times by 30%. What specific problem are you solving? What measurable value are you creating? Be specific. Be specific. Second, foster cross-functional collaboration. Strong executive sponsorship is absolutely key. But you also need that tight collaboration between IT, the business units, compliance, HR, everyone. This ensures the solution actually fits the entire enterprise context and gains widespread support. Without all stakeholders on board, even the best technology can just falter. Silos kill projects. They really do. Third, focus on solid infrastructure planning. Securely integrate Agent Core with your existing IT systems. Leverage those gateway and identity services we talked about. And maybe start small. Connect just a few essential tools first. Expand incrementally as you gain confidence and, importantly, prove value. Think, you know, crawl, walk, run. Don't try to boil the ocean. Good advice. And finally, implement continuous monitoring and improvement. 
Define clear KPIs, your key performance indicators. Things like resolution rates, customer satisfaction scores, maybe cost per transaction. Use agent core observability, which is built in, to track performance, identify bottlenecks, and drive an iterative improvement cycle. Benchmarking against human performance can also provide incredibly valuable insights. It shows where the agent is truly excelling and maybe where it still needs refinement. This feedback loop is just essential for maximizing ROI and ensuring the agent evolves with your business needs. It's not a one and done project. It's an ongoing journey. That's a great summary of best practices. So maybe a final thought to leave our listeners with. If AI agents like Agent Core Enables really do become a standard component of enterprise tech stacks, what new forms of human AI collaboration might emerge that perhaps we can't even fully imagine today? Beyond just simple automation, what truly creative or maybe strategic roles will remain uniquely human? And how will these agents actually enable us to redefine them to focus on those higher value tasks? Something to think about. Thank you for joining the podcast and see you soon.